hello friends welcome to my channel hobbies binder with another new episode in today's video i will be sharing with you diy planter idea and if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and if you like the video please do like and share with your friends and family so in order to make a diy planter i have taken a thermocol box that we get during when we order a coffee mug from online we get um, this packaging uh so now this is a homemade gesso which i have prepared if you are interested to know how i made this homemade gesso please comment me below so that i will come up with a interesting video so i am applying the gesso so gesso has two properties one is if the surface is rough uh, it makes the surface very plain to draw and if the surface second property is if it is very uh, delicate the surface the object is very delicate then it makes the uh, pro- object very strong and there will be less chance of damage uh, so as you can see i am only applying the gesso on on the four walls of this box not on the bottom not inside the box After applying gesso, I will allow it to dry naturally for eight to ten hours. If you want to dry it fast, you can use blower. But my experience was very bad while using the blower uh, because I started getting the cracks on the surface. That's why I'm not using uh, any blower. But it's up to you. Next, we are going to. I'm showing here uh, in the picture. what pattern i am going to use this is basically a kolam pattern which is used as a rangoli in south india so in kolam we have very different designs and patterns it's uh, begin from 2 to 1 dots uh, you can draw and you can use 4 4 to 4 dots also uh, the picture which i am showing you is four to four dots it's easy for beginners to learn and understand the pattern So basically, I am drawing here four lines, and each line have four dots, uh, leaving a distance of one one cm. so the whole concept of drawing uh, kolam pattern is all the dots that you see has to fall inside the loop so we have to draw the pattern in such a way that all the dots that we have made has to fall inside the loop So friends let's move to our next design again with the same four lines and four dots i'm showing this design this patterns just because it's very easy to understand for a beginner how this loop starts and how easily you can draw this loops in uh, it's basically a um, square design uh, in the later part of the of this video i will be showing you how you can uh, make this uh, simple pattern using seven to one dot uh, so watch this video till end it will be very interesting for you
you can see my box is completely dried and has become hard now uh, and I have drawn the borders and the dots 7 to 1 dot design uh, and I have made the same dots in all the four walls of the box leaving the bottom and I have even applied gesso on top wall borders so friends as you can see I have uh, made four different patterns in uh, all the four walls using 7 to 1 dot design now let's move to our next step here I am using maroon color uh, actually here I will be using four different colors and four different walls but uh, it's up to you if you want you can use one single color in all four walls but here I, I will be using four different colors first I will be coloring giving first coat once it dry I will apply the second coat so friends as you can see here I am using all acrylic colors only because first thing it dries very quickly and the second thing it doesn't smudge and the third thing it uh, it gives a very nice glow uh, shine to the product after it dries and make sure you apply the second coat after the first coat is completely dried acrylic colors to fill the complete design the dots border and the complete pattern
for watching this video till the end and i hope you enjoy watching this video if you like this video please do like and share with your friend and family and if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe to my channel until then stay connected stay safe and see you on my next video